the explorer photographs abandoned homes and buildings all throughout Canada, but this one proved to tug on his heartstrings more than any other. The doors of the home were wide open when he approached it. He'd noticed the home while driving by. The garden was overgrown, windows were broken, and there wasn't a soul in sight. He made his way in through the sunroom, which was strewn with garbage and plants. And then he was overcome with the scent, the strong, overpowering scent of cats. And it wasn't just the scent of cats that greeted the explorer. Cat decor was found all throughout the home. Cat figurines perched on shelves. Cat artwork lined the walls. Then he noticed the overwhelmingly busy floral wallpaper. Room after room was wrapped, floor to ceiling, in dizzying prints. Pretty pink roses to match the pink fireplace. As the explorer made his way through the home, he was overcome with sadness. There were so many personal items throughout the home. It started to become clear that the owner hadn't left. They died there. A sweet note from a daughter to her father. You can't help but wonder who these people were and the stories of their lives. The explorer was particularly upset by the sight of the owner's cane left resting on the cat fur covered couch. This jewelry box still worked, playing a song while the ballerina twirled. This sketchbook contained pages and pages of sketches done by the owner. This home was clearly once a beautiful space with big bright windows and a comfortable kitchen where family members could gather. The explorer found family photos in the home and placed them in the exact spots they were taken. In both photos, the owner's precious cats are featured prominently. It's clear they were loved greatly. As if in the middle of chores, papers and glasses sat out on a table. After first discovering the home, the urban explorer went back and sadly discovered it had been looted and tagged with graffiti.